I hope y'all ready for this reading because this, and I ain't clarified yet. Um, you don't tell your partner that you're cheating. Hello? All right, y'all up. First card is the Ace of Wands. So some of y'all got new love coming in. I'm just gonna set off the bat. Y'all got new love coming in. It's going to start off very passionate, maybe very sexual. Um, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be hot and steamy, like a good time. Also, when it comes to career, some of y'all need to really tap into your creative side and create something because it will be successful. It, it will work out for you. Now, you have an emperor. So here's the thing. This is going to be two different stories, okay? Some of y'all are going to meet someone. You're going to, you may meet this emperor. This is going to be someone that knows what they want, that's ready to settle down, that's probably well-established, um, want to have a family, like the whole shebang. But they may be a little stubborn, a little egotistical. Could be just get on your fucking nerves sometimes because they don't. The emperor typically do not like to change. Um, now, for others of you, some of y'all are dealing with someone who may be married. If, they, if they're not married, they're definitely in a relationship, right? Um, and they miss the passion between y'all. And at one point, I felt like with the Seven of Cups, they were confused about your relationship or their relationship with someone else. Um, but it's also, now for some of y'all, that's not that storyline with this Seven of Cups. Some of y'all have options about to come in and you may start to feel overwhelmed. But then you have the Justice card here, right? So hear me out. For those of you that were dealing with someone that was in a relationship or married, your person is really considering getting a divorce with this justice because you got the emperor and the justice here. Um, and then at the bottom of the deck, you got the ten of swords. So somebody may be really getting a divorce because the justice card can represent divorce. Um, but they're confused. It's like they want this divorce so bad, but they're confused about something. For others of you, like I said, y'all going to have a lot of options coming in, but you're going to be confused. But I feel like it's somebody in your energy, whether you're having all these new options or not, that either you want to right your wrong, right, make something right with, or you want them to come and right their wrongs with you. So let's clarify and see what's going on. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? What the fuck did I say? Bitch, I'm so... I'm so motherfucking psychic. Listen, somebody is getting a fucking, um, oh, never mind. <laughs> hey, yo, why well, I thought that was the four ones? It's not the four ones. All right, let me calm down. Okay, so I made a mistake. Anywho, let me reread this. I thought this was the four ones, but either way, <sighs> it's the three of ones, but anywho, but that still can mean the same thing. All right, look. Fuck that shit. It still can mean the same thing. Because, all right, look. Three of Wands, right? I feel like... <laughs> I just got a, a hit of myself. But it's, it's, it still kind of mean the same thing. Uh, with the Three of Wands, a lot of y'all were manifesting for someone to be completely single and all about you, right? And I feel like that's going to happen because... You have the tower card. So the tower card means something's about to really come crashing down. So I feel like somebody's relationship is about to come crashing down. Like with this ace of wands, if you're dealing with someone that has someone else, I don't feel like there's no passion in that connection anymore. So, and y'all probably been manifesting that. So I feel like that's ready to come crashing down. Now, if you have been manifesting new love then if you're holding on to someone that no longer serves you, you about to see their true colors because your guides, your ancestors, they want you to let that person the fuck go. Even if y'all not together, but you're holding on to them energetically, I feel like something is going to happen that you really may see the real them so you can leave them the fuck alone and embrace this new love. Spirit, tell me about the emperor. Why is the emperor here? Hangman, yes. Wait, before I even say something, wait, let me clarify this hangman. Because child, I spoke to Tina the first time, so hold on. 
Tell me about the hangman. Why is the hangman here? Tell me about the hangman. Listen, I'm telling y'all. The emperor, I said this is typically somebody that's married or in a relationship, right? At one point, they were stuck making a decision. They're not stuck anymore. The seven of pentacles came out in reverse. Well, whoever they married to, whoever they're in a relationship with, they don't want to invest in that anymore. They're starting to see things from a new perspective. They don't want to invest in that bitch no more. They don't want to invest in his whole ways no more. I'm trying to tell y'all. Now, if this is for some of you that may have a new love coming in, I feel like y'all are kind of stuck and y'all not really investing your time when you have someone new coming in. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Listen, Seven of Cups, remember I said that represents confusion. Hey, Dominique, um, you got the Ace of Pentacles, the Death, the Knight of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. Okay. Things are ready to get better with you and your person because when the Ace of Pentacles and the Death card comes out together, that no longer represents death. It represents transformation. So you're ready to see a change in your person. Um, they're no longer going to be confused anymore. Because like I said, the Death and the Ace of Pentacles came out together. And then you got the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups means they had a lot of love for you. Then you had the Nine of Wands. I don't feel like they're going to be resisting much longer. Like they can't run from this connection. However, some of y'all are really like one foot in, one foot out. Because it's just like they put you through so much. You just like... I don't even fucking know if I want this anymore. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just been so long, so much bullshit. I don't know if I want it. And at the bottom of the deck, you got the five of swords. So it's like, you so used to them playing games that you don't know if you really can trust them. Tell me about the justice card. Why is the justice card here? Temperance. Somebody want to reconcile with you. Somebody is, they're going to heal first. Um, they're going to work on themselves first. So the temperance does tell you to have patience. It does. Um, but somebody definitely wants to work on something with you. And I feel like they're going to make a decision. Yeah, this is definitely their party energy. Because at the bottom of the deck, you have the two of swords. So somebody's getting clear on what they want. And they're about to make a decision. So, um, and as far as your money, with this Knight of Cups and this Ace of Pentacles to the death, there is ready to be a big transformation in your career and your finances is going to start looking up as well. Um, some of y'all may be ready to travel too. So, and I feel like as far as love, things may start transpiring with like from, this going to be a long time frame, but like three days up into like seven months. For some of y'all, so y'all know everybody is different. Um, but I do feel like some of y'all are really ready to um, go on some type of spiritual journey and really start to heal yourself. So that's what I have for you, Earth Signs. Oh, and remember with this song I channel when I was like... Um, about being able to replace them. And I say, y'all got new love coming in with the Seven of Cups. Uh, I got, I ain't got that much time. <laughs> Patience is a virtue. Hold on, y'all. Let me get a water. Or go 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 listen to fucking Bonnie. <clears throat> okay, can somebody write water signs?
Yeah, y'all better heal for that new love. TJ, why you clean up? What you like? What you like? Your little boo coming over? It's like, let me. It's like, I don't even know Bonnie, and I'm not even trying to shade the girl because I don't know her. I don't know her at all. So, because I don't want y'all run back like, cause this is a terrible page. She be shading you, no bitch. I don't even know her. All right, anywho, <clears throat> let's get started with water. TJ, all you need to know is your money better increase. I mean, your money is about to increase. Um, there's going, you're ready to go through like a, some type of transformation. Maybe it can be a spiritual transformation, but you're ready to go through a transformation in your career, I feel like. And more than likely in love as well, but you will see your money increase. But don't hold yourself back with that nine of wands. Like don't, don't sleep on your potential. You got to understand what your potential are and tap into your creative side. Oh, and traveling. Some of y'all may be ready to travel. I'm going to be good today on that water read. <laughs> Spirit, what messages do you have? Are you going to coochie land? What messages do you have for water signs? What do water signs need to know today? I think I'm dehydrated, y'all. What messages do you have for water signs? What do water signs need to know today? No, I haven't done fire. Fire is going to be last today. Baby making time. Didn't you just tell us a few weeks ago you already knocked somebody up? How many babies are you trying to make it with how many different women? No, air is next. Not why he be cleaning on a Tuesday. Same girl, dang. Look at you. My bad. My bad. I'm just saying. My bad. Now he want a baby so bad. <laughs> Drop the tea real quick. Remember how yesterday you said we was going to argue with someone? So me and my baby mother argue and I woke up. Wait, I woke up to people sending me her posting up with her ex and the shit I brought her. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches ain't shit. Thank you, Mariah, for my badge. I really appreciate you. I bet you won't go take that stuff back that you brought her. I, I, I bet you won't pull up on her and, and her new man and take that stuff back. I bet you won't do that. So let me stop being messy. <laughs> Uncle said, y'all ain't nothing but some hoes and tricks. Now he is wrong for that. Not the instigation. I know that's why I said. Let me stop being messy. It's stung a little bit. What do you say? It's stung a little bit. No, I, I, that's doing too much. She never gonna find nobody like me for real. That's right, Stink. You gotta know your worth. Know your fucking worth. Yeah, let her know. She had never found nobody like you. Know your worth. Know your fucking worth. I love that because you are a black king. Know your worth. Thank you for buying another day for right. I really appreciate you. Spirit, what messages do you have for water signs? What do water signs need to know? Dad, y'all said do not take her ass back. Now, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. Because y'all is phony. Y'all act like y'all ain't never break up with somebody and wore the shoes. Another, your ex then brought you with your new man or, or wore the purse or a dress or something. Come on now. Because if you brought me something just because I got a new man, I'm not 
giving my shit away just because you brought it. I don't think I'm keeping mine, especially if it's cute. Thank you, Taki, for my badge. I really appreciate you. Spirit, what messages do you have for water signs? What do water signs need to know? What messages do you have for water signs? What do water signs need to know? She gonna spend a block. I put a down payment for her house and a new car. And you gonna mess with a bum crazy. Thank you, um, Lee. What did I say? Lily for buying a badge. I really appreciate you. Oh, y'all, he's single. Go ahead. He, he buying bitches houses. He buying bitches cars. He's single, y'all. All right, we ready to play Love Connection. Y'all better go snatch him up, y'all. Mm -hmm. Snatch him up. Girl, give me one more card for water signs. One more card for water signs. Yeah, Sheree, girl, he's single. Go ahead and snatch him up, Stink, so he can start paying for at Wednesday night dinners. Great. Oh, damn, that flew out. Hold on. Yes, he tricking. You know what they say. It ain't tricking if you got it. Your brother on a truck single. <laughs> Girl, I don't know. I think he got a little situation or whatever. Hmm. She a Leo. Now, now, now. Not too much on Leos, okay? Not too much on Leos. All right, let me get started. Why y'all always get the juicy conversations whenever, whenever I'm doing water signs? I need a down payment on this WAP, but be careful, it's slippery. Oh my God. Boy, you gotta, you already have all these girls after you. Y'all better hope he, um, scamming y'all. You better hope he's telling the truth. All right, let's see. Let's get started, water signs. Um, that did escalate quickly. <laughs> like, what? Y'all always trying to turn this into after dark. BT after dark. All right, let's get started. I know I didn't say this about 10 times, but let's get started. Ooh, water signs. What is going on today? Okay, listen. All right, look. First card we have is the Five of Pentacles. Some of y'all may be experiencing um, some financial difficulties right now. Some of y'all really need to start saving your money, okay? Um... Also, with this Five of Pentacles, when it comes to love, somebody may have ghosted you, made you feel abandoned, left you out in the cold, rejected you or something. Or it could be just you and your person just been arguing a lot lately. Y'all just can't seem to get on the same page and it's just a lot of conflict. Um, <clears throat> then you got the Page of Cups. So whatever the fuck they did with this Page of Cups... Um, Means I got to cancel Wednesday. Bitch, I wish you would cancel on me Wednesday. Because one thing about it, where's little, where's, um, little Drew Drew? You can make him pay for the dinner. Anywho, so with the Page of Cups, Page of Cups means whatever this person did, they know they did you dirty or, or whatever. So you may receive like a heartfelt message from them. Just some dumbass text message trying to break the ice with this Page of Cups. Um, but some of y'all may meet somebody new they may be a little younger than you so you going through something with someone that may have you know, like i said made you feel rejected but guess what what that saying goes um oh my god what's that saying goes about something something is guard protection redirection is guard i don't know how the fuck that saying goes so whatever they may lose out and somebody else may lock up so you might get you a little young tenderoni or something but I feel like somebody is in their head, they're overthinking something because it's like y'all can't figure out or they can't figure out how to rejection is guard protection. Thank you, girl. That's what I was trying to say. Um, they can't figure out how to give you what you deserve because the crazy shit is they want you just as bad as you want them. So I got to clarify to see how, why they playing game, why they playing games. But with the six of wands, they find you, they're very attracted to you. 
They really think that you're on your shit. And if you have been experiencing money problems, don't even sweat that shit because your money with the six of wands is about to get better. This represents victory and success. Some of y'all are really meant to be in the public eye. Some of y'all are meant to, or some of y'all going to go viral. So, like y'all may, oh, this new person that's younger than y'all could possibly be somebody famous. Cherie, is little um, Drew Drew, is he famous or got money or high stature? Because that's the six of wands. That's my social media card. So some of y'all need to start posting more on social media as well. But I do feel like your person stalks you on social media. Tell me about the five of pentacles. Why is the five of pentacles here? Y'all, I cannot, I hope little Drew Drew come with us on Wednesday out to dinner because I have not met him yet. And when I bring her these shoes, I still haven't found them yet, but I'm going to find them before dinner tomorrow. And she better wear them. This is my sign to open up an OnlyFans and make them coins. My booty a little juicy. Wait, what you going to do, porn? I mean, I'm not judging, but you going to do porn? You know what? It doesn't even matter. You don't even have to answer that. Thank you, Taki, for buying another badge. I really appreciate you. Tell me about the, yeah, the Asian man, Chrissy, little Drew Drew. Tell me about the five of pentacles. Why is the five of pentacles here? Strength card. Y'all going to find a strength. Well, one, when it comes to your career and finances, y'all going to find a strength to overcome whatever the fuck y'all going through. Because like I said, you've got the six of wands here. So, um, glad you got along way. What y'all say? I can't find a comment. But I feel like y'all talking about me. But anywho, let me finish. Um, hmm. I don't know what y'all said about me, but whatever. I can't find a comment. Y'all gonna find the strength to either completely cut ties with this person or just... So y'all, I, I don't know when my box piece said to charge my phone, so we gonna figure it out later. I'll wait till I get down to like 7% and I'll go search for it. Y'all gonna find the um, strength to figure out whatever financial issues y'all going through. Because like I said, you had the six of wands, so it's gonna get better. Y'all gonna find the strength to work on your love life. You had the six of wands, it's gonna get better. Um, let's see. Tell me about the page of cups. Why is the page of cups here? Mm. Queen of swords, some of y'all need to start setting boundaries with someone. But don't just set boundaries. You got to stand on business. Like, really stand on business. Um, but, I, okay. Now, don't, don't, don't tussle with me when I say this. Some of y'all are a little bitter. And you have every right to be because you're a little heartbroken, too. From a situation y'all got going on with somebody. Y'all, y'all, y'all got a little nasty taste in your mouth for right now about this person. And y'all, I feel like y'all, um, you just got your lashes done. They look good. Thank you. No, I got them done last week. Um, oh, because you didn't see me last week. I, bitch, I told you the other day when I asked you, did you miss me? That we haven't seen each other in a minute. Anywho, um, y'all are feel like, y'all feel like somebody owe y'all an apology. And y'all a little bitter because it's like, why the fuck you keep playing games with me? Because sometimes the page of cups can be very immature at times. So, y'all need to stand on business with this person. Like, don't let this fucking person play with y'all with a sign. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Effie, you said weeks, which was last. Well, it feels like I haven't seen you in week. Well, two weeks is weeks. It's more than one. It's been two weeks. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords? Told y'all y'all money was going to be doing better. Y'all stressing out, or some of y'all, about career or finance or whatever. But with the Six of Pentacles, the universe is about to reward y'all. They about to reward y'all. Some of y'all going to um, find somebody that is going to have them coins. And they just going to want to spoil y'all. Others of you... When, okay, are dealing with someone that is stressed out because it's like they really want to be with you, but they but I feel like for some of you they may be messing with their baby mother. Um and it's like they keep the bitch around because they don't want to be put on child support. And that's just for a small few of you. So I'll be making three hundred thousand by next week. Yes, think absolutely. Um but either way, your money is gonna be doing better whether you meet a sugar daddy or a sugar mama or 
you figure some shit out with your job or start a new business, but the universe is truly about to start rewarding y'all water signs. So things are going to gradually start to look up for y'all. And it may happen within like the next eight weeks or so. Tell me about this six of wands. Why is the six of wands here? Tell me about the six of wands. Tell me about the six of wands. What? Hmm. Okay, the six of wands is clarified by the star card of three of swords and a five of cups. Whew. All right, let's start with career first. Some of y'all are not in the right career field and need to let that career go. Some of y'all may have recently lost your job and y'all are sad about it. But no matter what the situation is, many of y'all are truly meant to be in the public eye. You got the fucking star card and the six of wands. A lot of y'all are really meant to be in the public eye and y'all need to start taking social media serious. Some of y'all need to do something with y'all hands. I feel like y'all would be good with y'all hands. Some of y'all need to do something maybe in the beauty industry. Some of y'all need to do something in spirituality. Um, so, but as far as your career is going to be looking up, things is going to change. So something is going to end in order for a new beginning to take place for some of y'all. Um, now, as far as love, somebody is mourning the love. I feel like some of y'all are going to walk away from someone. I told you I don't like the public or people. Well, bitch, if you want to be a millionaire and take care of me, you're going to have to start liking the people. And this probably is for you because you're good. You know how to fucking do nails. That could be your side hustle. You And I just said, do something with your hands. And that will require you to start posting on social media. Like, bitch, don't play with your own potential. Oh, look, y'all. And then y'all got the king of pentacles on the bottom of that. Yeah, y'all money ready to be real good. Once you happen to reach your full potential. All right. So, anywho, when we talk about love, somebody is... Okay. Now, somebody could have lost a loved one. I hope that's not it. Or others, you could be mourning the loss of a connection. But... And that y'all are trying to heal from. So, if y'all went through a breakup, you're healing from that. But at the end of the day, with this star card, some of y'all have a new lover coming in. Um, some of y'all have somebody that want to reconcile with you because they realize that they broke your heart. They re they're feeling regretful about something, um, with this five of cups and with this star card, it's like, okay, both of y'all need to heal. Both of y'all need to heal. Cause I said with that queen of swords, some of y'all are feeling a little bitter. Some of y'all are feeling a little bitter over like a breakup, but it's fine. It's fine, baby. You are a star. You, you shine bright. You gonna bounce back and you gonna find somebody. Like you gonna find somebody, and hopefully it's this King of Pentacles or like I said, with that Six of Pentacles. It may be like a little sugar daddy, little sugar mama. Spirit, tell me about the Star, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Cups. Why is the Star, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Cups here? Tell me about the Star, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Cups. Why is the Star, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Cups here? Chariot, the Hermit, and the Two of Wands. Forward movement. Whatever you're going through, you're going to be fine. Some of y'all might buy a new car. Some of y'all may be ready to go on a little trip. Um, but for the most part, I feel like some of y'all kind of been staying to yourself or you're about to stay to yourself. You're ready to get really focused. You're about to go on Hermit Moon. You're about to figure some shit out. You're about to be on your grind. Two of Wands, like y'all already start planning something. Um... Or some of y'all might be cutting off a connection that had you in a third party. But either way, I feel like a lot of y'all may be traveling. You got the two of ones and the um and the chariot card. So yeah, a lot of y'all may be traveling, but y'all already figured some shit out. Y'all already do like y'all already go on hibernation mode. I'm telling y'all, y'all cutting, y'all already, y'all circle is about to be so motherfucking tight. If somebody is around you that no longer serves you or no longer align with the path you're trying to go on, then guess what? You're cutting them out. Like, baby, ain't no ain't no hard feelings. I'ma just love you from a distance. That's it, and that's all. But y'all got the ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Once again, your money is going to start to increase. Y'all just got to understand y'all potential tap into 
your creative side, your spiritual side, and get the ball rolling on some type of business. 318 is definitely a Pisces. That's my mother's birthday. And that's a true Pisces, no matter what astrology chart you look at. Um, so, yeah, that's what I have for y'all water signs. Y'all, hold on one second, because I got to respond to this text message. So, I got to put y'all on hold. So, hold on. Okay, um, can somebody write air signs? Cause they ain't shit. I didn't dream I was reading tarot cards, but I'm not trying to pursue that. Does that mean anything? Um, maybe you're meant to be a psychic. You don't have it. Maybe you're meant to do something in um the spiritual world. It doesn't necessarily have to be tarot. It could be damn near anything. Why is everybody writing their birthday in here? What did I miss? What the hell y'all got going on in here? Ooh, she said, let me, you want to get slutted out this week? Y'all is nasty. Y'all is really nasty. Y'all really be turning this into BT after dog. Oh, somebody made a comment saying drop your birthday. Okay. I was ready to say, what the fuck y'all got going on? No, you didn't miss fire signs. Fire signs is next. Sir, what messages do you have for air signs? What do air signs mean another day? I don't know, but when I saw your YouTube about getting married on 4-4, what's up with that date? I want to know it's my birthday. Girl, because that's the date that I picked for my wedding. Either you're going to come and you're not going to come. I understand it's your birthday, but I'm extending the invitation. So that is my wedding date. Me and my husband has decided on a date. And we're getting married April 4th, 2024. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And don't ask me about my ring because I don't know exactly who my husband is yet, but I know it's going to be somebody. And we're getting married on April 4th, 2024. Thank you, um, D Red for buying a bitch. I really appreciate you. Hey, yo, you better be there, girl. You might as well officiate my wedding. Oh, no, it's not a numerology thing. Girl, my last wedding was supposed to be um, November 2011. What did I say my last wedding date was? November 22nd, 2022. But that wedding didn't quite work out. So now my new date is um, April 4th, 2024. So I hope y'all have y'all outfits ready. And it will be black tie. So y'all better get y'all outfits together now. Oh, Carmen, you definitely can be the flower girl. Bro, what messages do you have for air signs? What do air signs? Mm -mm. Give me a few more cards for air signs. What do air signs need to come? Mm -mm. I said, what do air signs need to come? I don't know why I just said that. I don't know. Somebody already come to y'all. I don't know why I just said that. Spirit, give me a few more cards for air signs. What do air signs need to know? Damn, somebody holding on to y'all. Give me one more card for air signs. What do air signs need to know? All y'all cards flew out in the upright, especially at Four Pinnacle. Let's get started, baby. Fuck y'all got one on. All right, let's go. First card starting to reading is the Three of Swords, right? Three of Swords. 
This represents somebody whose words, actions, or intentions broke your heart, or somebody had you in a third party and you got tired of the shit and it's the shit be breaking your heart. Cool. So now we know some of y'all are dealing with a broken heart, okay? You have the eight of wands. Somebody know they broke your fucking heart, right? Eight of wands, there's a lot of passion between you and this person. This person is rushing in to speak to you. Um, this person is just like not taking no for an answer from you. Like, the fuck you mean you want to leave me alone? They like, like they're rushing in like they're determined. So if you for now, wait a minute, because I don't like saying this like, oh, you want to hear from your person. No, this is not going to be for every single one of y'all. OK, but for a lot of y'all, somebody is going to contact you within the next two weeks or sooner. OK, and this and you would know who this person is because it's a lot of like passion between y'all. Like, yeah, some of y'all may be ready to travel as well. Some of y'all have good news about to come in. So if you've been waiting on good news, it's about to come in. Some of y'all are meant to start some type of online business as well. And the time is now because it will take off. Then you have the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles means that whoever this fucking person is that broke your heart, that now wants to rush in and talk to you, with this Four of Pentacles, they are holding on to you tightly. They are not letting you go. You hear me? So if you feel like y'all are trying to let this person go, good luck, thank good luck. Then you have the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords, once again, they want to come in, rush in, have a conversation with y'all. But that conversation may turn into an argument because the Knight of Swords can represent bad arguing, saying things without thinking. Um, the Knight of Swords also do tell y'all to get, y'all need to start being more serious about your ambitions as well. Like, y'all really got to get on y'all fucking grind. Um, so let's clarify and see what's going on. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Tell me about the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Tell me about the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Tell me about the Three of Swords. Damn! Alright, so remember I said with the Three of Swords, somebody broke your heart. It's clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, Two of Swords, Six of Cups. Let's break it down. Will of Fortune. Even if you don't think so, your person feels so grateful and lucky that they met you, that God placed you in their life. They know deep down inside that you two are meant to be together. Because both the Will of Fortune and the Six of Cups is soulmate energy. So they know that you're their soulmate. They have a lot of love for you. But with the Will of Fortune, it's like, okay. It's some shit that's taking place behind the scenes that's kind of slowing up this connection. But the Wheel of Fortune represents patience. It represents divine timing. So I feel like something is going to happen, like a person's going to come back. But, you know, it's telling you just to have patience. Like the wheel is spinning in your favor. Also, with this Wheel of Fortune, y'all money about to do good. Y'all money is about to increase. Um, if you've been thinking about starting a new career, going up for a promotion, transitioning into a new way of making money, do it right now. And with the two of swords, get out of your head. Get out of your head. Go ahead and start whatever business you've been thinking about. Now, anywho, getting back to love. Um, like I said, your person feels like y'all are meant to be. They really, truly have a lot of love for you. With this two of swords, for many of you, it... More than likely, it was a third party situation. I'm not gonna hold you because the two of swords means that somebody need to make a decision between you and someone else. Okay. And with the two of swords, a lot of times the two of swords means that that person was stuck. They didn't want to make the decision. They were torn, so they were just standing there not making a decision. But with the six of cups here, it's like <clears throat> y'all connection is so fucking strong. So I don't give a fuck who this person is messing with. It doesn't compare to y'all connection. It's like y'all have like, some of y'all could have a, had a past life connection with this person. Once again, it's soulmate energy and they cannot get you off of their mind. Like they are heavily reminiscing about you. You hear me? Like heavily reminiscing about you. For some of you, 
if your person has children and they're still with their children mother or married to her or whatever the case is or men this could be y'all too whatever take a hybrid resume you can reverse the roles they're not with that person out of love they are with that person because they feel like that is the right thing to do because of the kids with the six of cups but with the six of cups it's like they can't stay away from you much longer because like like i said with the six of cups like breaking your heart is breaking their heart being away from you is breaking their heart not talking to you is breaking their heart um <clears throat> so with the six of cups it's just like i i don't foresee them staying away much longer i i, I just don't um because they have too much love for you like too much love for you Tell me about the eight of wands. Why is the eight of wands here? Page of cups. They are, listen, they're going to message you. You got the eight of wands, the knight of swords, and now the page of cups. All of these are communication cards. Um, page of cups. You're either going to receive some type of heartfelt message or maybe an apology. It's not going to be like no text message like they pour out their fucking heart. It's not going to be that. So don't expect that. But they are going to reach out to you. Um, but y'all are in y'all feelings about something. So that's why I'm saying like y'all may get to arguing with this person. Um, tell me about the four of pentacles. Why is the four of pentacles here? Tell me about the four of pentacles. Why is the four of pentacles here? <clears throat> tell me about the four of pentacles. I'm definitely not saying you don't need to manifest. You definitely got to manifest. Why, why would you ever stop manifesting? Four of Pentacles is clarified by the Temperance and the Six of Swords. Um, well, Carmen, I don't think it's going to be. All right, we down at 10%. <laughs> I'm going to finish air and then I'm going to go find my charger for fire. Um, because with the Eight of Wands, that can represent two weeks or sooner. Um for a contact but anywho so the four of pentacles remember i said that four of pentacles means that somebody is holding on to you tightly then you got the six of swords and the temperance so i feel like if they had you in a third party situation they want to leave that person and the temperance is like they want to come to you and they want to reconcile but they're really trying to figure something out because the temperance card just like the will of fortune it requires patience so this is not going to happen overnight because I do feel like your person goes back and forth. That's why that two of swords there. They go back and forth in their head of what they should do. But they're still going to try their hand. But I feel like some of y'all are going to be like, no, you're not coming back here unless you did that situation. Um, and Because I feel like some of y'all are really trying to heal from this situation with your person. But it's so hard because they always come back. And y'all always fucking take them back too. And don't be on my comments. I know I don't. Because that's the fuck y'all do. But anywho. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Knight of Swords is clarified by the Seven of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the Star card. Your person wants forever with you. Your person sees you as a star. Your person sees, like, them, them little badass fucking kids that I said that your person might be staying for in a relationship for. They want y'all to be a blended family. They, they want y'all to be a blended family. But with the Seven of Cups, it's like they're, so, they're still in this confused state of mind. Like, they want to reach out to you. They see you as a star. They see a future with you. They stalk you all the time on social media. They want a happily ever after. But with the Seven of Cups, it's like they're confused. They're really, really confused right now. Like, they want to be with you so badly, but they are confused. Well, if you don't come forward, that's on him. I got a date tomorrow. As you should. What? You sang the devil upstairs? No, she. She been upstairs the whole time, haven't she? Mm -hmm. Don't say not here. Mm -mm. So let's see, Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for air signs? Okay, hold up. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Damn. Mm. Oh, y'all about to heal from that three of swords. You got the four of swords. So you got the King of 
King of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and Knight of Cups. So it's like when y'all really start healing, it's like this person is going to come and then all of a sudden like want to Tell you what you want to hear. Sweep you off your feet. Want to start working on things. Want to tell you, hey, let's take it slow. It's, listen, I don't know, y'all. It's going to be hard for y'all to walk away from this person because they really, really do love you. Like, I, I can't <clears throat> pretend like they don't. They truly love y'all. Um, Some of y'all could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, a Sagittarius. Um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Scorpio. Come on. Yeah. You see the devil, I ain't trying to go outside. Tell her, come on, say outside. I did. Gut-wrenching feeling that will be the case. I'm almost free from this person, but they always pop up when I'm almost done. Yeah, because that's called a test. I talked about that last night to y'all. That is the... That's... Huh? Hold on, y'all. Fire sign, so give me one second. Come on, come on, let's go. Go outside. Come on, come on. Okay. Hey, um, not you comparing Nova not going outside to your man. Y'all, can somebody write fire sign? Right. Hmm? Did you get your towels and stuff out? Yeah. Did she go bathroom? Yeah, she peed and ran back in the house. <laughs> Thank you, Michi, for buying a badge. I really appreciate you. Dear, why are you shaking your head? Ready to go. Spirit, what message is these? You know, when I went to work today, right? You remember I said I had to pick Ashton up? Uh -huh. I didn't realize the car wasn't charged. So when I picked her up, I got to the office. I was like, all right, there's no way where I would have enough charge to get her back to the house. So I had to go find a charging thing. It was down to like 10%. It was? Yes. And then I got to the charging thing. All the spots was filled. So it was saying, we suggest you power the car off or something. It was saying, some message that came up. 
I was like, oh, Lord, if I cut out, what would I do? <laughs> but this guy ended up um, pulling out, so it worked out. Because I was like, all right, I'm going to just leave work right now and go charge it for a little bit. Because I didn't um, drive yesterday, so I never realized that the car wasn't charged. Right, and I, well, and I just forgot about it. That's the only thing about that. Yeah, Bri, I got a Tesla. Yeah, I was like, oh my God. These third parties and shit. Who got a third party? That, listen, De'Aaron, that does not mean that that is y'all's story. It, listen, that's not going to apply for everybody. You know we got new followers, so I'll be channeling their energy. do you have for fire signs? What do fire signs need another day? Y'all coming out on your own reading. Is it Mercury retrograde? It's definitely not Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde, I think, is in December. So give me two more cards for fire signs. What do fire signs need to know? Leo strength card that is y'all um thank you so much brown skin for about a badge I really appreciate you um strength card means y'all are ready to um what I'm trying to say y'all already persevere out of something either y'all gonna find a strength to work on a relationship or y'all gonna find a strength to walk the fuck away um but y'all already be really also y'all already be like really disciplined as well so I'm gonna have to clarify this card to see exactly what's going on but you have the Ten of Cups here, though, so somebody wants a happily ever after with you. Somebody is really in love with you. Somebody is your soulmate. Um, somebody wants y'all to be a blended family or just start a family. But somebody is ready to emotionally fulfill y'all. Oh. Then you have the Moon card. Moon card, start using your intuition because something is screaming at you. But I feel like y'all kind of block me because you do have the Seven of Wands right here. So I, I feel like you're blocking out whatever your guides are trying to tell you. Some of y'all may have been waking up in the wee hours in the morning, like between three and five, because your ancestors are trying to speak to you. They're trying to tell you something that y'all are blocking. Um, but with this moon card, whoever this person is, they love you, like really love you. This is twin flame energy. Um they have so much feelings for you that I feel like it kind of scares them with the Seven of Wands. Um, and they stalk you a lot on social media. Now, getting to the Seven of Wands, um, some of y'all may have this person blocked or they blocked you or it's just that it's some sort of blockage in this connection altogether. Um, or y'all might just be guarded because maybe y'all just went through some shit. Tell me about this shrimp card. Why is this shrimp card here? Tell me about this shrimp card. Why is this shrimp card here? Tell me about this shrimp card. Why is this shrimp card here? Damn. I really don't want to take all these cards, but I feel like I should take all of these cards. All right, so look. Shrimp card is clarified by the Eight of Swords. Queen of Wands, which is y'all energy, death card, and the fucking strength card. So, okay. How do I want to read this? 
Well, y'all already know when the strength and the devil come out together, the strength trumps the devil. So that means that your person is letting go whatever is getting in the way of y'all being together. Your person is trying to get out of this to toxic, they try to walk away from this toxic behavior or walk away from something that doesn't serve them anymore, okay? Because they just don't want to show up as this devil energy. But with this devil card, I do feel like um, your person is really obsessed with you, like really obsessed with you. Now, some of y'all may have ended something with this person because you got tired of the toxicity. You got tired of them feeling bound to someone else. You just got tired of just the, the back and forth. Um, and then with this queen of wands, you're showing up as yourself, the queen of wands. So your person thinks you're very beautiful. They, like I said with that moon card, they stalk you on social media. So they may think that you're out here dating other people. Um, but they think you're very spiritual. They love that you're very sexual, powerful. Um, you about your business. Like, you really check all of their boxes. You do. Um, and with this Eight of Swords, it's just like they're just all in their head. I, actually, I feel like both of y'all are all in y'all head as well. Yeah, the devil card is Capricorn. Um, so let's see what that's about. I don't know. But we're going to see what that's about. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, basically... Your person is definitely going to find the strength to get out of this devil energy. Like, definitely going to find the strength to get out of this devil energy. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Why is this? Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Ten of Cups is clarified by the Hangman. So, and this is the second time the Justice card was on the bottom of the deck. I didn't say it the first time, but. So, somebody want to write their wrongs with you. Somebody may be getting a divorce. Um, but with this devil card, I mean, shit, not the devil card. What is this? The hangman. Let me clarify this before I speak on it. Hold on. Tell me about the hangman. Why is the hangman here? Tell me about the hangman. Why is the hangman? Okay, yeah. All right, so now I can speak on it. So, the ten of cups. Like I said, somebody want to happily ever after with you. Clarify by the hangman. Your person is no longer stuck. They're seeing things from a new perspective. That's why that strength and that devil card came out. They're seeing things from a new perspective because the hangman was clarified by the two of cups and the seven of pentacles. Two of cups. Nobody, and I mean nobody, compares to you. They feel like you two have such a strong connection with one another. It's twin, twin flame energy. Um... They feel like nobody truly gets them and understand them like you do. They feel like they can be themselves around you. With the Seven of Pentacles, they're not done with you. They want to continue to invest in this relationship with you because they are deeply in love with you. Tell me about the moon card. Why is the moon card here? Tell me about the moon card. Why is the moon card here? Moon card is clarified by the magician in the Ace of Cups. Moon card can represent secret or hidden things. So what y'all don't know, they're manifesting you. They are manifesting a relationship with you. They are really manifesting for things to eventually work out. That's why with this Shrimp card, they're trying to get out of this double energy. Like I feel like they're working on themselves. With the Ace of Cups, they have a lot of love for you. Ace of Cups is also a fertility card. So some of y'all could be getting pregnant. Ace of Cups, once again, just like the Ten of Cups. Y'all ready to fall so deep in love. Like, you may already love this person, but I feel like the fact that they're working on themselves and getting themselves together, y'all gonna fall even more in love with them. You're gonna be so emotionally fulfilled. Like, y'all gonna be in a relationship. Now, for some of you, y'all do have a new person coming in. So, I, I am getting new energy and old energy. So some of y'all, when it comes down to it, some of y'all may have two people to choose from. Tell me about the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here? Tell me about the seven of wands. Tell me about the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here? Tell me about the seven of wands. Seven of Wands is clarified by the Three of Cups, Two of Wands, and the Temperance. 
Three of Cups. Your person misses the fuck out of you. They miss the good times you two share. They miss laughing with you. They miss being around you. They miss hanging out with you. Two of Wands. Some of y'all may be ready to travel, but I do, or your person ready to travel to you. Some of y'all may meet a new person while you're traveling, um, but I feel like your person is planning something. Because with the temperance card, that can represent reconciliation, um, healing, balance, harmony. But it also represents patience. So I feel like your person, in their mind, they're playing chess and not checkers. Um, they're just really trying to figure this shit out. Get out of that devil energy. Come towards you because they have a lot of love for you. So what is the final likely outcome for... Fire signs and love. Ooh, my favorite card. Six of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, and Six of Swords. Six of Wands, victory and success. Some of y'all are meant to be in the public eye. Some of y'all are about to go viral. Some of y'all might meet somebody famous or of high stature that you may start dating. Um... Knight of Pentacles and Six of Swords. I feel like somebody is ready to leave someone else to be with you. Or you're ready to end something with someone else. But with this Knight of Swords, it's just like you're kind of dragging your feet. Or they're kind of dragging their feet. Which makes sense. Because the Temperance is here. Remember I said the Temperance represents patience. So it's going to happen. Um, you're just going to have to have patience. But either way... You're meeting someone new, and eventually you're going to have someone old come back. Um, but you already start getting a lot of recognition. You already start being noticed by a lot of people. And it doesn't surprise me because you have the Queen of Wands. So, also, I don't know if I... I think I may have said this before in the beginning. Some of y'all are meant to do something in the beauty industry or be an influencer, or a YouTuber, on TV, or just something that's in the public eye. Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Some of y'all ready to go to Pound Town. And I already said this is a high fertility card. So, that's what I have for you, fire signs. 